Hey, y'all, I pray that each and every last one of you are doing amazing on today. I just briefly came on really quickly. Um, I came on to um, bring forth a warning that I was supposed to have posted uh, for, I want to say, about a, a month now. It's, it's been going on a month. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, everything has really kind of been getting in the way of a distraction, you know, preparing for dedication, um, the closing on the church, um, just everything. It just got in the way. Um, right now I'm home and I am recovering from RSV. It has been going around. Um, I believe that me and my family and many more have picked up the the viral infection uh, from someone that probably was at the dedication service that probably didn't know that they were sick or probably was informed that they were sick with RSV, but just took the chance to come out. So now, you know, we are just on the back end of it. But I do bless God that I'm still here to testify and tell you all that we have made it. Um, RSV is no joke. I'm going to go into the warning, but RSV is no joke. It really feels like a really bad flu. To some, it may feel like COVID, the COVID-19. It feels like a lot of it. But I'm telling you, in a later video, I'm going to testify and tell you how grateful I am that the Lord allowed that affliction, the affliction of sickness that hit my body when it comes to RSV. I'm going to talk to you about that in a later video. But I do bless God. I am still yet here. Um, um, I've known someone that's actually on a ventilator um, due to RSV. And I just bless God that that just wasn't my portion. But I do pray for those. And I'm asking you to get down in your closet and make sure that the door is closed and pray for those that are dealing with RSV and not just RSV, y'all. But let's pray for those that are dealing with sickness, infirmity, diseases, plagues, all these type of things. I'm asking you to join me in prayer with to pray against the work of sin, the work of iniquity. Come on, somebody. The work of of, of and, 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 it, and it's all coming back from people drawing back and going back to things. A lot of these sicknesses is also for God's glory. Don't count some of these things to say because somebody sinned. These things are happening. But the thing about it is. You got to allow God to judge it in itself to see why did this come to me? Did this come to me because there was a lesson to be learned? Did this come to me because I need to get more stronger in prayer to pray for other people's sickness and condition? Did this come to me because, Lord, you want to quiet my spirit time and you wanted more time? Let the Lord judge it in itself because when we become our own judge, then we begun to ju begin to judge things and we don't see any failure or faults in our own eyes. Um, I didn't come on and talk to you about that, but let me tell you something. I am solely an apostle. I go by the shift of God, and I really believe that in this day, time, and hour, the Lord is trying to get so many of our attention. He is really trying to, to call our focus back to Him. And I'm telling you, number one, one, the main thing that God is dealing with me in this season about is the power of prayer. We need to really get back into praying. We really need to get back to turning these plates down. And and, and let me let me put this out here. I'm not talking about bodily exercising and, and, and fasting where you're dieting and putting away our plates, you know, for the sake of, oh, well, you know, I'm going to pray from the hour between 6 and 12. Let me tell you something. Forget about everything that's going on around you is what I'm trying to tell you. Even forget about the food. Forget about the TV. Forget about your family sometime and get on your face and begin to talk to God and ask God, Lord, in this moment. Come on, sometime y'all might not make it to the season, but God, in this moment, in this time, Time in this hour, in this second, Lord, what are you saying to me? God, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to tell your people? God, I need you to inform me. God, open up my blinded eyes. God, help my unbelief. Start talking and praying out of the spirit because a lot of times things come out of our flesh because we are so emotional. And because we are emotional, we begin to start praying out of our emotions instead of us just listening to what God is saying to us. When we start seeing these things in our 
visions are hearing it in our ear. I'm telling y'all, this is the scope of hearing right now. God wants us to hear. And so when we hear anything, God wants us to begin to pray because these things are coming out of your spirit. Your spirit is making intercession. Your spirit is telling you, this is what's going on with you. This is what's going on around you. This is what's going on in your children. This is what's going on in your coworkers. This is what's going on in the leaders today. This is going on with false prophets. Come on. This is what's going on in not just America, but in other nations. This is what's going on. But if we are too busy by the noise that's going on around us, we will not begin to hear God. And we will begin to give the enemy all the credit for sickness and say, you know, well, there's nothing but the devil. Let me tell you something. Sometimes it is God that is allowing us to be able to go through this sickness so Come that on. he can call forth our attention Come back on. to him. The enemy is trying to stop steal our attention. He is trying to bring forth distraction. And there are so many of us, even right now, we are distracted because we got a phone in our hand. Right. And as we are listening to this recording, as we are listening to this, uh, to the voice of God, here is we getting distracted by the enemy. But see, the thing about it is the word of God said that when it comes to God's children, right. they know God's voice. That's and right. let me tell you something, a stranger, they would not, not hear. They right. would not hearken to the voice of a stranger. And so therefore, when you see distraction, coming you got to know is the enemy when god is trying to get your attention. attention come on come on come on so i'm not apologizing because okay god i hear you this is the part of the warning right now this right here this right here god is telling us today to get rid of the distraction but here let me share the warning let me share the warning so about a month ago the lord showed me a vision and in this vision it was a vision in the way of a dream I was actually on a way, uh, it was me and some family. We were on a way to a trip. Mm -hmm. We were, we were going to, on a trip and there was a bus that everybody was getting on, but I was outside of the bus, just standing there. Mm -hmm. As I was standing there, I noticed that the bus stopped and I was like, Whoa, you know, well, the tire or something maybe is out. But then I looked in and there was a hole like it was in the ground, like the earth had quaked. Mm -hmm. All right. And so they were like, no, the, the ground opened up. I right. saw the devil is a liar. I'm not getting on this bus. And so as I was standing there, there were some African men that were literally standing. And because I knew they were standing there, I began to speak of Jesus. And one of the men heard me, heard me speaking of Jesus. And That's then right. he wanted to know more about what I was talking about. Uh -huh. he was, they were African men. And I'm not talking about African American. I'm talking about from Africa. All right. I'm talking about from that side of, of, of the of that na of the nation. And so as I begin to continue to talk about Jesus and telling them, I begin to hear the spirit of the Lord say, encourage them. Mm -hmm. And so I begin to exhort. I begin to edify. I begin to encourage the men that were standing around me. And then all of a sudden, after all this, the men were saying, I, we want to see you come to Africa one day mm -hmm. because there's some thing that you are talking about that we need to hear. That's right. And so along going, going along in the dream, here it is now, there was a, 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 a opening in my house that I was able to see. It was like as if the rooftop, it wasn't no roof, but I could see on the outside. Mm -hmm. And there was a man that was walking, but I could not see the face of the man. I could see the stature. And he went to go throw a bomb into my house. Right. But the Lord allowed my husband because the bomb landed by my husband. Come on, somebody. I, I, I need some that God has given the gift of dream interpretation to be able to see in the realm of the spirit what is actually going on. Now, I'm going to tell you the only interpreter. Come on, somebody. The only one that can interpret dreams is, is God That's himself. Right. Right. And he will give it to you to be able to share the interpretation with others. Right. And so I will tell you, tell you and have you to know that God has already revealed what this means. But I need somebody in the realm of the spirit to just agree with me and just begin to pray and so the bomb landed by my husband when the bomb landed by my husband the lord allowed my husband to take the bomb and throw it out of our house come on somebody up in here That's right. and there was a woman that did not really have a color all right she was not a woman of color she looked caucasian to me 
and she was standing by my husband and they begin to start talking about how if God was there, you know, this and that and that would not happen with the bomb. And I begin to say, I said, let me tell y'all something. I said, I wish I can get some believers that just believe the way that I believe. Yes, the bomb came into the house, but the Lord did not allow the bomb to overtake the house. Right. He did not allow the bomb to blow up in the house. Right. He gave us the power to take that bomb and throw it out of the house right back at the enemy. That's Come on, right. somebody right. up in here. But I want y'all to, to hear this. So here, after I begin to tell them this, I begin to see a fish. This was a literal fish, not a man, not a woman, not catching the fish. There was a fish that was looking for air. And I had the fish and the fish looked like they were, the fish looked like it was afraid at first. And I began to say, come on. I want to show you something mm -hmm. because I knew that I was taking this fish to a big, large aquarium tank. Mm -hmm. And when the fish saw the tank, the fish started to smile because the fish now realized I can now be able to breathe mm -hmm. because I'm not no longer in the air, but I am in the water. Come that's on, somebody right, catch right, that revelation right, right. right there. God don't want us to be all over the place. Mm -hmm. He don't want us to be tossed to and fro by every way and wind of doctrine. Come on, somebody. That's right, that's but right. he wants us to be in the water. Right. He wants us to be endowed with the spirit of God. Come on, somebody. The songwriter said his prayer. Presence is water. He That's will right. fill you with the water to the point you would not have to ever thirst anymore. The water that God was talking about was the water of the Holy Spirit. Right. Come on, That's somebody. Right. That's right. That's right. And so as I woke up out of the dream, I promise you, I promise you, I heard war is coming to America. It's coming. And I'm like, Lord. I didn't really have anything where I saw in the vision right. that had to do with war. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But God, I know if you said it, this was something you were showing me. But see, he showed me the earthquake. Right. He showed me the bomb. That's right. And the thing that came to me was America. We literally see our wars and, uh, and things are going on. Plagues is happening. We see it happening in other nations, right. but you better get yourself ready because I saw it coming to America. This is something that God was showing me that was coming. Listen, even um, some years back, if you actually go on the channel, you will begin to see me talk about wars and, 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 and that's coming to America. The Lord began to show me there was something that was coming. There was some food that was going to come and be imported and, and there, all type of thing that was going on. But I'm telling y'all as clear as day, the Lord is showing me, I'm telling y'all, there is something coming to America and we better open up our eyes. We literally better open up our eyes. Now, listen, there is two scriptures that the Lord want me to leave with you and I'm telling you I'm, I'm on my way off here but I want you to begin to stop praying in the spirit and stop play, praying out of your flesh because God is in no way shape or form playing with any of us I promise you for some of us that think that we are Christians for some of us that think that we are even going to make it to heaven Come on. your eyes are going to be open one day to a burning hell Come and on. you're going to say Lord forgive me and I'm telling you everything that the Lord was trying to warn you about is going to come back up against you and it's going to testify against you so I dare you, I dare you to take this word at, 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 and take it for what it is and apply it to your life. Stop just being a hearer of the word, but be a person that hearkens to the word. Keep the word and do the word. Spread the word. I don't care who it is. I don't care if the spirit of fear comes on you, rebuke that spirit because God never give it to you. I want you to begin to start prophesying the word of God over everything and over your life, over your family. Let me tell you, even over the people that you don't even call yourself loving. Stop praying for your enemies that their eyes become open uh -huh. because God is opening up the blind eyes. Come on, somebody up in here. And the thing about it is, if you count your enemy out, what if God is counting you out when you became his enemy? Uh -huh. Oh, come on, somebody uh -huh. up in here. Uh -huh. You got to know who the real enemy is. The Lord said, according to Ephesians 6 and 12, come on, somebody, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, right. but we are wrestling against powers and principalities. We are wrestling against rulers of darkness of this world. We are wrestling against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right. Come on, somebody. Ain't nobody talk about presidents. Ain't nobody talk about Trump on the day. On. Some of your eyes better become open because God is even going to use Trump in such an hour as this. Oh, God, I feel you up in here. On, Let me give you the, the two scriptures. 
Let me give you the two scriptures because I'm getting up out of here. But I'm going to tell you, you better begin to start praying. You better start turning, turning, turning your ways around. I'm telling you right now, for those of y'all church goers and feel that it is so enough to be in church just on, at Sunday school. Oh, I show up for Sunday school. Oh, I show up every Sunday. Oh, I feed the needs of the people in the community. And let me tell you something. It takes way more than that. I'm telling you, it takes really living that word, praying the word, uh, seeing the word, believing the word, uh-huh. having faith and not out of your emotions, uh-huh. but really having faith to believe these things is going to happen without you even have to see it. Come, come on, on, somebody, because on. if you have to see it before you believe it, that is in faith. That's right. All right, God, I hear you up in here. I'm going to read first Timothy chapter four. I'm going to start at the first and I'm ended at the third verse. All right. And then I'm going to take you briefly to the book of Hebrews. I'm going to take you to Hebrews next. All right. Hebrews chapter six. And I'm going to begin at the fourth verse and I'm going to end it at the sixth verse. All right. The word of God says, now the spirit speaketh expressly. I want y'all to hear God and what God is saying. He says, now somebody shout back. I don't care if you're in the room by yourself. Look at yourself and say, now the spirit speaketh expressly. Now the spirit speaketh expressly. Come on, say, now he's speaking to me now. Now he's speaking to me now. That in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidden to marry mm. and commanding to abstain from meats, mm. which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them, which believe and know the truth. Come oh, come on. I need your spiritual lens on right now on. because I'm going to tell you right now, this word right here was nothing natural. That's you right. got to really see this in the spiritual lens, what God is talking, even concerning the meat. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Now I'm going to go to Hebrews and then I'm going to tell you, I'm going to wheel it all in to tell you what the Lord is talking about. All right. So Hebrews chapter six, starting at verse four, and I'm going to end it at verse six. It says, for it is impossible For those who were once enlightened, Mm -hmm. enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost Mm. and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. Mm -hmm. If they shall fall away to renew them again into repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the son of God afresh. Somebody shot all over, all over again and put him to an open shame. Mm. Let me tell y'all something right now with the Lord of God is speaking. The word of God, it declares in Hebrew 10, 26. For if we willfully go out here and we sin after coming into the knowledge of truth, let me tell you something up in here. It said there remaineth no more sacrifice for our sins. Come on. Come on God has done away with the first law. That's right. So the second law could be established. Come on. The second law was to uh, write the word, to write the law unto our hearts. Right. That it did not matter who we are. It didn't take for a man to tell us what we are doing or committing adultery. It should not take a man to tell us that we should not come on, serve another God. We should not use the Lord God name in vain. We should not. We should honor our mother and our father. We should not cover our neighbor's house. Come on, somebody up in here. I want y'all to understand what God is saying on tonight. A lot of us have tasted the goodness of God. We have seen that the Lord is good. We have seen and believed that the word is true. To be turning back now and say, now the word is false. Now we're turning away to devils. Mm. Now we are turning to seducing spirit. Now we are turning away from the truth. How is it we are crucifying God all over again? Seeing that God has called all of us to repentance. How can we do such a thing to God? That, that is what God is talking about. Men are going to become lovers of their self. Come They're on. going to be turning away from the truth. But I would have you to understand and to know that when God comes back in a way of a cloud, That's when right. he comes back with his angels and the saints, That's come on right. somebody, he's going to gather together himself the sheep. 
goats and the goats are going to go to the left. And I'm going to tell you, the Bible says, and the reaper shall gather them. Right. And they're going to go to a place where they have gnashing of the teeth and pulling of the hair. Come on, we're screaming. And then when there's worms, I'm telling y'all right now where the yes, fiery yes, indignation yes, is. Come on, somebody. Hell, fire, with fire and brimstone. You got to hear what God is saying on tonight. I understand that your neighbor is doing all type of things. But don't let what your neighbor do distract you. I understand that you have got distracted in the way. But don't even allow what you have done to distract you. Hear the word of God and take heed to his warnings. Because he is coming back. We are already in the latter part of the days. Because the Bible declares in the book of Acts, the second chapter. According to Peter, when he was reciting what the prophet Joel was speaking. It said, in the latter days, God will pour out his spirit on all flesh. Come on, somebody on all believers. Come on, somebody up in here. To all that has been called to God. And so what God is honestly saying to us in this hour, using even Peter in the book of Acts. Come on, somebody, by the way of Luke's letter to uh, to, 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 to the Alophis. Come on, somebody up in here. He is saying to us, listen, Peter said, this is the, this is the, what Joel, the prophet of Joel was talking about. This is the last days. These men that you see here, it's only the third hour. They are not drunken, right. but they are filled with the spirit. And as the, the spirit filled them, they are able to prophesy. Come on, somebody. I dare you to begin to prophesy the word over yourself and say, self, I am more than a conqueror. Come on, somebody in Christ Jesus, I am. And I can do according to the word of God in Philippians 4 says, I can do all things in Christ. Come on, somebody. What strengtheneth me. I want you to understand the word said that when the enemy comes in like a flood, he will lift up a standing against the enemy. Come on, somebody. The enemy has came in and he's becoming in like a flood in all of our situation. But God said, right now I'm lifting up a standing. Can anybody see the banner? Can you see the Lord begin to wave? Come on, somebody. Yes, it's just Lord. like yes, somebody Lord. on a yes, lifeboat. Yes, they begin to wave a banner and they're praying that somebody will see the red flag. Come, come on. on. Come God on. is praying that you will see the red flag on yes, tonight. Right. He is waving the banner around yes, and across yes, America, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. telling America to get their self together, telling the nation, the other nation to get their self together. Some of the nations are not going to be able to repent anymore. But America, we got another chance. Yes. We got an opportunity. Come on. I want you to do what the Bible says says if God people if they would just humble themselves yes, and Lord. pray and turn away come on somebody from your evil and your wicked ways and seek the face of God stop seeking Facebook right. stop seeking Instagram stop seeking YouTube but seek the face of God Woo. Oh God apostle Jesus I'm warning I'm sending the warnings that God has sent to me I'm telling you, I saw it as clear as day. I did not just see. I did not just see an earthquake. I did just I didn't just see a bomb. I didn't just hear war. But I saw a tsunami. Mm-hmm. I saw water. I'm telling you, I saw a flood taking some people. And I'm telling y'all right now, and if y'all can just seek. Seek and hear the voice of God. God. Let me tell you, a lot of the people in the Bible, and I'm closing, a lot of people in the Bible did not believe Jesus. But Jesus said, but all I want you to do is just believe the works. If you didn't believe nothing else that I say, just believe the work that the Father has worked in me. Come on, somebody up in here. If you don't believe anything else, just believe the work of God. And the thing that God has done while he was here on this earth. The thing that he has done when he has left and ascended and descended. Come on somebody when he descended to the lower parts of the earth. Uh, And then when he ascended, he sent down gifts. Uh, Come on, somebody up in here. Uh, I want you to just understand God is saying that he wants us to turn down. uh, And he wants us to get back on the wall. uh, And he wants the watchmen to get back up and and he wants them to begin to pray. Uh, Come on, he wants the overseer to start overseeing again. Uh, He wants the pastor, the shepherds, come on, the angels of the house, uh, the messengers, come on, to start leading again. uh, And start speaking. Come on, somebody to understand adulterated doctrine, huh? right. the truth of God. Huh? He has given us the gospel to be able to spread. Uh-huh. He has given us the gospel to be able to teach. Huh? And all God is asking us to do is just do his will. Come yes, on. Sir. Huh? Yes, and sir. the will of God is that no man shall perish. Yes, huh? Come on, somebody. But if we can just do what John three sixteen says, yes, huh? come on, if we can just believe, come on, somebody in the word of God. Yes. Huh? Come on, come on, come on, God. If we believe God's word, then we should not perish. Yes, but we shall have every 
everlasting yeah, life. Yeah, everlasting Come life. on, if you can just believe in an everlasting life, yes, because sir. there is life after this. Yes, Come is. on, somebody, I want you to believe yes, God on is. tonight. There is life after this. Yes, Come on, somebody, God has given his only begotten son, yes, that yes. whosoever shall believe in him, they shall not perish, uh-huh. but they shall have everlasting, everlasting life. Come on, I want you to quote John 3, 16 to yourself, and keep repeating it to yourself until yes, you believe it. Yes, yes, Come on, if they believe in Christ, come on, uh, if they can just believe in God, uh, if they can just believe that God raised Jesus, his son from the dead, uh, if you can just believe that Jesus is God, uh, if you can just believe that the angels, come on somebody, have protected and ministered to God. uh, When Satan came in, I want you to believe right now that God is sending angels. uh, He's sending messengers even at the church uh, to minister to your very needs, uh, to serve you. The Lord said, I did not come to minister. Uh, I didn't come to be minister to, uh, right. but I came to serve. Come on, That's somebody right. up in here. And he came to serve, uh, and he is serving you with this word. Uh, and right. he's allowing the messengers. Come on, somebody, yes, just yes. like in Revelation 7. Come on. Just like Revelation is talking about. Uh, yes, there's seven churches in Asia. Yes, he's Lord. allowing us to know that these messengers, I want you to speak this to the churches. Yes, come right. on. Uh, right. And I'm speaking it loud and, clear. loud and clear. He that has an ear, let him hear. Come on. Let him hear. Let him hear. Let him hear what the word of God is saying. RSV cannot stop me. Come on, somebody. Ain't no sickness going to stop me from spreading the word and getting the word out. Right. I understand what I see, what I feel in my body. here, But I believe, come on, somebody, what Isaiah 53 and 5 says. Right. Come on, I am already healed according to the word of God. Come on, because he's been striped. That's and right. that's what he went to the cross that's for. Right. Come on, for the redemption. Come on, somebody of mankind. That's so it. that we can be redeemed. So that we can be regenerated. Come on, somebody, so that we can be uh, set free. Mm-hmm. So that the the will of Satan would not come to pass right. so that it would not be accomplished in all believers life. Come That's on somebody right. that we can be revived, that we can be restored, that we can be healed. Come That's on it. that we can be filled with the Holy Spirit come so on. we can have an everlasting, everlasting life everlasting with life. the Prince of Peace. Yes, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Y'all continue to pray for me. Continue to pray for my family and we are going to continue to pray for you. Yes, but I'm telling you, God is speaking and let the word Do the works.